you're going to be a wealthy business owner, a wealthy entrepreneur. Wealthy entrepreneurs focus on three things. One, they increase their income. So they increase their income in their business. They, this is a constant focus. They're always focusing on increasing their income in their business, getting their money up all the time. This is wealthy business owners. Second, they focus on passive income. That pays them every month. This is a monthly thing. Monthly cash flow. They do this, period. Every one of them are always like, look, I need to get my income up in my business. And then after that, I need to make sure to take any additional money that I have and put it in something that's long-term that continues to pay me every month that I don't have to go off and think about. And then last but not least, all of them are always thinking about equity. Right? Two to three times that's long-term that pays them out later. So the challenge that I see with a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners, because I talk to them all the time about potentially investing. They're like, dude, I want to retire. Like I talked to a buddy of mine the other day. He's like, I never want to deal with another employee again. Never. <laughs> and he had the same number in his head that he wanted to have when he retires. He was like, I got, I think if I have $2 million stocked away, I'll be okay. And he wants to do that. And I was like, dude, how liquid are you? And we were kind of talking and he was like, ah, I'm close. And I was like, how close are you? And I kind of stayed on that vein to kind of point it out because he only has about seven or eight years left. And in his head, he was like, I'm going to retire. I'm going to kind of stop doing what I'm doing. He has a couple of businesses. He flips houses. He's in, he's in the transactional side of real estate investing, right? He buys stuff, fixes it, sells it. He has another business. I think it's some painting company, some cabinetry company, whatever. But he, but $2 million is not going to support him. He's still a very active guy. He has kids. Um, he's still functioning and doing things. And his, I mean, his kids are, are you know, adult kids are going to get married. He's going to have grandkids. He's going to want to function. And he, are, he already has a bad attitude about um, employees. You need employees. If you're going to increase your income, how do you scale your business whereas you can have additional money to get passive income to eventually get equity in your investments long-term? You got to scale the business, which means you need employees. So back to him, $2 million is not going to cut it. He's going to have to think along the lines of stuff that I was talking to him about. I was like, dude, you got to get your mind wrapped around $10 million. Boom. This is your target. Get your company to make it $10 million annually a year. Take a portion of that because you already know you're going to have your 40% expenses um, of taxes, right? Because this business income is earned income. Sorry, this business income is going to be earned income, right? You're going to write off as much as you can. Don't buy anything unless you can write it off for your business. So you're always going to be looking for write-offs, marketing, equipment, sales, employees, all the other stuff that you need to do as an entrepreneur to save as much of this money as possible. You're going to take some of that money, no matter what it is. Let's say you're able to save about 20% of that a year as the entrepreneur, or the owner, right? You're not paying whatever it is that you're doing. Hypothetically, you're not going to save 20% of that a year, but let's just say you did just for our, just for our math, you socked away $2 million, which was his target. And then you take that $2 million and you invest it long-term in real estate, right? Cash flow, real estate, great location, great property. And you invest your money. You don't go buy more deals. This money will pay you roughly about 5% a year, right? So no matter what, you're going to be getting roughly about eh, about $10,000 in cash flow a month on that deal. And then later, 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 the goal is for your money that you, because again, remember, he's still pumping away at his business. The business would still be going, still be focused on getting your income up. And every year you dump $2 million into an investment. Let's say after... I don't know. Again, he's not going to hit $10 million if he doesn't want. And I'm, whatever I'm talking about, think about yourself too. If you don't want to get to $10 million and you can't do this math, and it's, it may not be $10 million for you. Maybe it's five. Maybe it's maybe it's the two. I don't know. But the, the formula for being able to create wealth for you using your business as a vehicle while you're able has to matter. So let's say he did this for 10 years. He kept dumping down. Boom. He kept investing. So now he has $20 million invested. Boom, $20 million invested. That's paying him 5% on, his, on that $20 million now every year, right? And later, 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 the goal is to for this equity for the for the this 20 million is probably worth 60 million because he invested it in real estate, right? So his net worth and his equity position has gone up. So now he's worth 60 million. 
He's got $20 million invested, paying him $5 million a year, and he stays in there. Let's say he stays in there for 10 years. Boom. He keeps going. Now, while this is happening, his net worth has went up. And let's say we double out. Let's say in an investment, because that's the, our goal for us later, we go refinance and give our investors back their capital, right? So uh, during that time, let's say he got his 20, let's say he got his 20 million back. So now his return is infinite on his investment, but he's still getting the 5%, or at least based on the position that he had in his deal, his position, he's still getting that. So now his retirement is not being affected. So he's got all his money back, back into his initial stuff. He didn't lose any money. It was invested in, in, in a uh, piece of real estate. That was a long-term investment while wow, he kept building this $10 million a year business. And again, the goal is to keep increasing the income on the 10 million, pay his taxes, pay his expenses, keep building the company, double down on 2 million. Hey, now you got a goal. That's a different type of goal because when you're thinking about what you're going through now later, he'll have his 20 million back. He can reinvest that 20 million in another big deal. Now, you know, he's already doing well. He still kept his position.